everyone, Rob here from the Snapcast with a special holiday video. Um, sadly, okay, we didn't have a podcast come out before the holiday season began. A couple guys are starting to get sick, family plans getting in the way. It's fine, we expected it. So I figured what I could do for y'all at least is a nice little holiday gift. And with that, we're going to be opening a few packs of Ultimate Masters. And I have a announcement for our patron winner for the month of December for our bundle giveaways. So first we're gonna go ahead, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of a good number. Actually, let's do this. Got a six sided die. Whenever we roll that so many packs, we're opening. Okay, we're gonna do more than one. Okay, the dice want me to only open one. All right, three, there we go. We'll do one plus three, we'll do four. All right, so we got one, two, three, and they're all different. Let's do two lilies. All right. Hopefully everybody is having a safe holiday time. Traveling with caution. A lot of stupid drivers out there now. I got to make sure that you're staying safe and that the family is safe. Okay, so we've got uncommons. All right, again. Just going through our comments here, see if there's anything of worth. Something good, Faithless Looting. Really interesting article came out. Um, it's on SCG Premium. Um, I'm, I'm not saying get SCG Premium. Um, I think it's okay. If it's your kind of thing, you wanna read advanced articles, go ahead, sure, get it. But I like to have it just because I wanna know all the different thoughts in that and it's good for content. Um, the different talks about cards that should be banned, cards that shouldn't be banned. And um, as much as people want Splinter Twin to come off, I think uh, Ross Merriam did a really good job at explaining why it shouldn't. And that's gonna lead into a couple other things I wanna say here at the end. So our rare Containment Priest used to be such a good card, but now I, I think it's still kind of utilized in Legacy some, and I wanna say it sees play. Um, and uh, Commander 2, but not one of the best rares that we could get. And our foil, oh, we got a foil rare of Revel Arc. Okay, so hopefully that's not the only good foil rare we got. We'll see, set these over here. Um, now, he did say that maybe KCI should be the offender that gets banned. We'll see, we'll see what happens in the next uh, ban restrictor announcement. The Pro Tour is modern. Sometimes we do see ban announcements right before the Pro Tour because they don't want another zombie. It's good for my uh, bridge from belows. We don't want to see the same deck, which some people believe is why back in the day we saw the banning of Blood Braid Elf. All right, so nothing too good there in the comments. Let me separate mine comments real quick. Heap Dell, Furnace Celebration, and Travel Preparations. All right. The rare Spoils of the Vault. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all, I'll take that. And a nice foil common. But what are your guys' thoughts? Should there be any changes to ban restricted list? Um, some say also that you can experiment with uh, bringing off Stoneforge Mystic. I think it'd be interesting. She has been long speculated to come off, especially when she was made a promo. She spiked up in price hard. And there are some really nice stories out there that weren't milking it. Urban Evolution, Rogue's Passage, and Stream of Consciousness. Dig through time. Banned in all formats and restricted in vintage. And a foil groundskeeper. All right, last pack. Let's see if we get something good. Elemental token. Treasure Cruise, same as Dig Through Time. Another just banned or restricted in all possible formats. Nothing good there. Hero of um, Lana Tower, Garna, Blood Flame, and Miraculous Recovery for our uncommons. 
And then our rare spot, all is dust, there we go. It's a nice card, should see it pop back up in value. And then the foil spot, a foil whirlwind adept. All right, so again, those four packs, not, not the greatest of packs. Um, all is dust, definitely the winner here, I would say probably by spoils, containment, and dig through time. Um, it goes well, I mean, we did already pull a Cavern of Souls, we've already pulled a Gaddic Teague, so, we're doing good in those grounds, and we still got plenty more. And of course, we have that sweet box topper. And a foil Rebel Arc. This could be worth money. There are the commander players out there who do enjoy foiling out their stuff. Outside of that, I don't believe Rebel Arc sees a lot of play in any of the um, extended formats. And then let's just get the uncommons and the commons out. Tokens out of the way. Just living over there. All right, so here it is. That Gills of Ravnica bundle giveaway. Again, a huge thanks to all of our patrons. Um, every month, this is my way of paying you back for what you guys do for us. And any listeners out there, or viewers, I should say now, because we're not on the podcast, if you want your chance to win one of these every month, Ravnica Allegiance comes out at the end of January. So, end of January, we'll do our first one. Then you got February and you got March. And then April, we'll see the last set come out, and then we'll start there. Okay? So, winner... Oh, sorry. So, if you want to win, just check out our page, patreon.com slash the snapcast. And link's down below, if you just scroll down to the description, and you'll be able to click it and see the different levels. Any tier will get you into an entry to win one of these. Okay, whether it's 3 bucks a month, 5 bucks a month, 10 or 15 it's up to you. And um, you'll get this as well as whatever um, the content says. But, winner for the December Guilds of Ravnica bundle giveaway is Kevin Reinhardt. Congrats, man. Um, so we'll be sure to get this in the mail. Again, it'll be after the holidays. This will go out to you. And again, congrats to uh, Tristan Bowhouse out in Australia for winning our previous one as well. Um, so we'll be sure to get that to you. Okay, now a couple more announcements. So coming up, we've talked about... Um, doing our, uh, we've had our little gauntlet going. We haven't been showing all 10 videos. That's because we're kind of changing them up. We don't want to bore you with all the videos at once. Um, we're also going to be playing into why is a card banned? Uh, we're not going to go as egregious as to show you why Blazing Shoal is banned, unless you want to see that. If you only really want to see a turn two kill with Infect pretty consistently or a turn three almost always, then we can show you that with Blazing Shoal. But we're going to do Splinter Twin. We're going to run it. Uh, we're going to put it up against some of the top decks we have currently and see how it fares. And it may be surprising to some how oppressive it actually can be. Or it may be kind of shocking at how it can fit into the modern format now and not be as oppressive as what it was back in its heyday. And we're going to be going through other cards too, like Summer Bloom. So you can see why Summer Bloom is on the ban list. Um, we're not going to do uh, some of the other ones, so that just prolonged the game because there's no reason for that. We don't want to show you a 48 minute game one of a best of three. That's just awful magic in my opinion. But that's what we intend to do uh, coming up and moving forward. As well, we're going to continue on with the beginner deck text and then we're going to dive deeper into that. You can also check out one of our newest um, sub podcasts uh, and that is going to be by uh, Jerry and Alex and it is Accumulated Knowledge. You can find that on our website at um, www.thesnapcast.com and as well as on iTunes, you can see them too on CastBox, wherever it may be. Just look for Accumulated Knowledge and you should be able to find it. Or you'll find it directly under the Snapcast Accumulated Knowledge itself. But that's going to do it for us here. Happy holidays, everyone. Remember, please be safe and keep an eye out for these spoilers. We've seen some really good cards already get spoiled. And I can't wait to see more out of Ravnica Allegiance as we move forward and get ready for pre-release here in the third weekend of January. But that is going to do it for us here. Again, you can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash snapcastmtg for our latest, greatest content we have to offer at Team Snapcast on Twitter, patreon.com slash snapcast. And also, uh, we're trying to maybe stand up an Instagram. I don't know if you guys like that or not, but we'll be putting up a whole bunch of photos and that of us going out and doing stuff, both in the match world and in the casual world too, as we hang out at different opens and, um, oh, not uh, Magic Fest. Yeah, I got to get used to calling it that. But... Thanks again, guys. Again, happy holidays. Take care. And we'll see you guys back here uh, right around New Year's is when we sh um, should be back. Have a good one.